What's going on guys? Matt Rainbow here with another reaction video. And this is uh, kind of an after, I'm doing this after I've already done the reaction. Um, but this is my reaction to Screw Tricks the Bridge episode 26. This was the final episode that they premiered at BronyCon 2019. Uh, I did this as a live recording, uh, live reaction like I did with their um, Screw Tricks episode that they premiered at BronyCon 2018. I uh, tried to do it slightly different uh, this time around. I actually brought my bipod, uh, bipod for one thing so I can, uh, you know, actually set up the camera next to me rather than holding it on my lap or whatever I did last year. Um, so hopefully it'll turn out a little bit better. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I try to sit way in the back so I could set up and not be in anyone's way, but I'm probably still, it might still be a little awkward to watch. Um, I apologize for that, but uh, it's something I'm still trying to get used to, trying to, you know, re record myself whilst being around other people. Uh, but like I said, I tried to cheat a little bit, but uh, I wasn't really around. There wasn't that many people around me in the back, but there still were a few people. So I was trying to, you know, not annoy them as much as well. Uh, but I'm going to do, um, just want to let you guys know that this, uh, this, this is what's going on. And after the, uh, my reaction ends, I will do kind of an afterthought thing. I didn't do that last time. I'm going to do it this time. So. Uh, I'll kind of get my thoughts on how I thought this episode was. Um, the only thing that I know for certain uh, that's different here is that apparently there was, um, I guess, an, something unintentional with the video that they showed at BronyCon. And I, I'm not sure what it was, but uh, the one that they released on their channel uh, later on was had has an edit in it i don't know what that edit was or what the change was but um they knew that there's a couple of us in the crowd that were uh recording reactions to this so uh they sent sent us the original version that got shown at BronyCon. so that's why i'm going to be shown here um but like i said uh the one that they released on our channel has a change in it but i don't know what it is because i haven't seen that one uh, probably go see it after I'm done recording this. So, but that's it. Uh, go ahead, check out the reaction. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you after it's done to give you my final thoughts. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Ridiculous. I told you not to touch the lamb, Applejack. She said it was the only thing that could be touched. It was a ball kind of lamb. To be fair, she didn't really clarify what kind of lamb we could touch. Man, I would have touched it. Or we could have just not touched anything. Your breed of power and riches has been your downfall, baby. Your monarch is leading you to a world of woe. This is the stupidest mission you've ever been on. Stupid, <laughs> communist, whatever it's called. What, what did you just say? Cave of Doom. 
so we won't be seeing her again. Great. I'm sure Celestia will be very pleased. Where is she? I'm making a wedding preparation. What wedding preparation? We have in the palace a special window, and the two ponies that created it reached out to Celestia and asked if she would marry them. And Celestia said yes. Well, um, that's really generous of her. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it sound just a teeniest bit strange? A request out of nowhere? Well, we're not fine. Always does. Maybe we should just take some precautions. When I require, she has, of course, invited all of you. Why? It's an important event for her. Lots of key leaders and influential ponies have been invited and are coming. It does seem like a bit much for a couple of window makers. No, I'm done second-guessing my sister. Her path leads to success. Others lead to failure. <laughs> <laughs> We got her to join this couple, Mayor Windowmaker and Stallion Windowmaker. <laughs> In holy matrimony. And I've got to say, the window that you made, so good. I cannot tell you how often I just stand in front of it and look at it. Oh my god. Uh, by the power invested in me, by me. Not that hard. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Chrysalis, my arch nemesis. Princess Celeste, so we meet again. Yes? Yes. Surprised to see me? Hardly. You're the whole reason I threw this party. Aw, you threw this party just for me. No, not like that. Don't. I'm helped. I love it. Just like you encouraged me. Oh, oh, you forgot to let that go. It was one distraction kiss. One. <laughs> I just wanted to be near me to feel. You know. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a trap, Lewis. Tell me what I don't know, soft flop. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Casualty. 
please. That's great news, Your Highness. Who were that easy? Why didn't we just swarm them from the get-go? Maybe Celestia lacked my vision. Oh, no, man. It does seem like it was a little easy. At least our forces can come home now. You know, I like this. I think I can do the name of this. Has Celestia regained consciousness yet? No, not yet. I see. We should bring her back to the castle. Well, we think she should just stay in the way for now. Just in case. Fine. See? I'm listening. Did you hear about what happened to the Black Spire? Yeah, completely annihilated. We sure showed them. Yeah, I think it's kind of sad though. I heard we didn't even take prisoners. Oh, God. It's not like the changes are evil or anything. They're just trying to get along like us. I kind of feel sorry to them. I heard that Lena doesn't really like changelings, especially Chris. Is it true that the changelings had surrendered before the bombardment? I've been hearing that too. Who would have done that? Would she? I wouldn't be so sure. She hates Chrysalis. Oh, it's your own calm down. This is all past the arena. We have now proof that 10,000 civilians were lost in Tuesday's assault. But it was in the paper. What was she thinking? Maybe she's still in nightmare mood again. She's a monster. She's no monster! She's a monarch! Oh my god! <laughs> Celestia does. So, thoughts. 
What do we need to do? Well, um, for starters, I don't think Chrysalis is actually gone. And the whole change in the Empire is seeming to go down without much of a fight. I don't think they're out of it. Think about how easily Chrysalis supposedly escaped your guards, Princess Luna. How much do you trust them? Maybe everyone in the castle's been replaced. God knows what's going on, but we're not there. It's far more easy to store. It's a maze. How are you supposed to pack it? What? In the squares. What do you think? Fine. You'll we'll settle this once and for all. Guard. Guard. I do have a name, you know. Ah, yes. The poor Stepper's younger brother, Edgar. What is Stepper? Round or square pizza? Oh, well. I kind of like the one on French bread. Blasphemy! Stop! Ooh! It's weird what you think of. I've never seen any pony stop Celestia before. This you have. And so have I. Princess Luna. <laughs> A lovely sunset tonight, no. Still a shiver. Only you have the ability to rob Celestia of her power. My name is Sunset Shiver. <laughs> Celestia is powerless because of my name. Yes, we get that. Did Chrysalis somehow take your power? Did she take your name or something? Princess Luna, you have it all backwards. What? Chrysalis gave me my name, and I gave her my power. What do you mean? A little experiment Auntie Christy was conducting. What would happen if you gave a pony a name with the intent to create a very specific cutie mark with a very specific power? There is no way Chrysalis could have planned all of this. She didn't need to plan anything. She simply created chaos and took whatever opportunity she could find. <clears throat> chaos is a ladder after all. Who do you think resurrected Sombra? Sent into the north. Spun rumors and lies amongst your people. Well, thank you. We learned what we wanted to. Enjoy your little hell. Oh, I'll be living here soon enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's all about the names. Yes, good job, Spike. You're very fun. Pony Pops, just saying. <laughs> In a way, that's how the elements of harmony work. So all we need to do is find a pony named Chrysalis Dead Queen? Oh, um, actually, I think I might know who might be able to help us. <laughs> okay, the generals are keeping the mission secret. Right. Well, if it doesn't work, I trust Rary. She knows change is better than anyone. But, Rary, are, are you sure you want to do this? If you choose to do it, there's no going back. Um, there never really was a choice. Trust me, it'll work out fine. Well then, my friends, are you ready? We'll follow your lead, princess. <laughs> Time's up, baby! Put all that out, or we can throw you out! I don't think so, Chrysalis. And you can stop the charade. <laughs> Ooh! Wow. How did you know? Please, don't make this unpleasant. Out of court, alert the guard. Take Queen Chrysalis into custody. Yeah, that's not happening. X2? Out of court? X2? Yeah, at me too. Oh, <laughs> this castle so is mine. Almost every body of high position to your government has been replaced. And the people don't want you on the throne anymore. Ha! Huh, I bet she can replace Princess Luna. Bow. Just not the element of smart. Sunset Shimmer? Oh, we know she transferred her powers to you. That was how you were able to defeat Celestia. Wow. It's almost like you all came down with an acute case of the obvious. Um, but you're not the only one who can tap into the powers of another... Ah, so you found a pony named Chrysalis Sex Shimp. Something like that. Rarity? No, what? I'm tapping out so that confused the unicorn can have a go at me. I think I wasted enough time on you a lot. <laughs> wow! Nice, eh? Not so smart. Okay, that's funny when I say that. Uh, why did you change? Sir? What's happening? There was another pony. A photographer. Blind, but with the power to see changelings. Or at least their aura. What? She saw you at the wedding, and then she saw you come in to petition me. Sir, I can't change my appearance! And now, everywhere, throughout Australia, every creature can see changelings for what they are. 
You can no longer change. You can no longer hide. Well, it's too sweet, princess. But I'm still the capital. What do you have? Just the entire Equestrian Armada. It'll be here within 20 minutes. It's not easy when you don't know what's going to happen next. The future is scary. Great future is better than no future. This doesn't need to end badly. So, what? What are you proposing? How about you talk? And I'll listen. And we'll see where that goes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, peace, victory, and everyone home safe. I knew you could do it. I'm really sorry there's no way to bring back your powers. Ah. Well, you can, actually. What? No, no, you, you couldn't have done it right away. I still couldn't have helped. Then how? The same way I yelled you, after a particularly nasty battle you had with King Sombra about a thousand years ago. What? Luna, you must do for me what I did for you. Send me to the moon. What? If we mortals are robbed of our powers, we must have absolute stillness and peace. You... You sent me to the moon to heal my powers? As part of the lunar healing spell. I couldn't even communicate with you. I thought you would banish me. I thought I could challenge you to the crown. No, no. It didn't happen like that at all. You wrote a book about it. Well, yes. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, yeah, well, one goes a bit crazy after a thousand years of them on the moon. But that's why we have the elements. I could kill you right now, you know? Rather, you <laughs> just <laughs> Basis for rule of harmony and friendship to kill the former ruler on her first day. One, you know I wouldn't. And two, I prefer princess. Of course, your majesty. After all, you are the princess now. Hey, Rarity. Hey, Uncle Jack. You can see I'm a changeling now. Yeah. What do you think about that? You know, I think I understand what Twilight meant. That who we are comes from the inside. Not from the outside, and how we dress ourselves up. I have to be honest, you don't look that different to me. You just look like Rarity. Thanks, Applejack. I wish you weren't leaving. Well, um, I think it's time I go home. See what's changed. I'm not the same Rarity who left. Well, wherever you go, we'll always be friends. Rarity, you all back? Just about. Thanks again for going with me to the Badlands. Well, I wanted to go home anyway. See what's changed. I'm not the same spike you left. Whoa! Oh, I totally just said that. No way. Well, send us a letter. I mean a real letter, not a fire bomb letter. Ha! <laughs> Deal. Generals, protect! Protect! What the hell have we got to face? Now we should go after those damn sea ponies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds far too much. I yeah, you're probably right. Besides, I think I'm getting too old for all this cool nonsense. I know too! I kinda just want to be a kid at the lunar! Maybe we have a little club out or something. Do we already have a club out? Maybe that is such a command! <laughs> if it's just the curtains, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Resign our conditions? Why yeah. not? Yeah. There's no more fillies playing in our clubhouse. Well. Can we play soldiers? What else is there to play? <laughs> well, this place isn't gonna feel the same without Spike. Or Rarity. Yeah, well, I gotta tell you, man, this place is kinda lost its thrill for me as well. What do you mean? When I first got here, everything was like, what? <laughs> so different and scary, it was like an endless adrenaline rush, man. Now after Discord and Sombra and Chrysalis and the Rabbit and... It just feels kind of lame, man. I need something different, man. I've been thinking about doing some traveling myself. Bert, you know what we should totally do? Go live with the sea ponies, man. <laughs> but, no, we can't do that. They live underwater and sing, like, all the time. You know what happens when you descend from the clouds to the ground. And now you want to go down into the ocean? Yeah, I don't know about this. Ooh. Ooh, you chicken man? <laughs> that kind of oh my chicken? god. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, now you two are leaving. What about you, Pinky? You hearing the song of the open road? Actually, what, you two? It's like this. I was talking to Trixie, and, well, I let him power the fourth, and she let him power the fourth, and I know there have been others, so what if some other pony starts meddling with it? 
Discord would be unleashed again. Yeah, so she and I thought we could just slightly tap the fort, you know, just feel the disturbance and then go find whoever's doing it and stop them. But we'll be back. Won't be permanent. So just you and I, Applejack. Well, I ain't got plans to travel. I have apples to harvest and granny to take care of. Even hoping I have a little Ackerman around more. We'll have to see. You know, I always liked this library, but it feels like there's a lot fewer books on the shelves now. True. That's the thing about libraries, the bird. There's always new ones coming in. <laughs> Hello, Twilight. Oh, good evening, Your Majesty. Are you here alone? Feels a little that way. I'm really gonna miss everyone. They will remain close friends. I'm also sorry you had to say goodbye to Celestia. I know you two are very close. Huh. It's not really goodbye. Well, she'll be on the moon for a thousand years. A thousand years? Oh, Twilight, the healing spell requires a thousand years of solitude. I thought you knew. No. No, that's... that can't be right. I... I I've read about lunar healing spells. It should only take about two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> to uh, begin with this um, so I guess I'll just start I'll uh, state the obvious first um, so this was obviously recorded several months ago um, at Berlin Con uh, I was waiting to upload this uh, mainly because I was waiting to see if they uh, had done a crowd reaction uh, like they did with their uh, panel at the last Berlin Con 2018. Um, I've yet to see that get uploaded though, so I uh, figured I better just go ahead and get this out now. Um, this pointed out they're, they had done the recording, but um, yeah, it's uh, having just rewatched it again, it's kind of definitely hitting the emotion some more since you know, this is the, I'm recording this after My Little Pony has officially ended so it's it's like seeing it uh this awesome bridge series end but uh, i like the show it ended on a pretty strong note i felt like it was it was such a great episode and also having like one last like uh troll moment by celestia on luna making her think that uh um, she was going away for a thousand years and then find out she was only going away for like two weeks. <laughs> it just, seeing how they animated Luna there at the end, it's like she's kind of like working it through her brain, like what just happened, like it was, it was wonderful. It's great seeing, um, how the editing kind of improved, uh, throughout the whole series, like before they were just straight up news, um, show clips and then toward the uh 
closer to the end of the series, they actually started throwing in like a little bit of animation into it, and even some of their own like little animations, like with the uh, uh, the zeppelins and that whole scene or in one of the earlier episodes where you saw the uh, uh, equestrian forces actually find the change lanes. Like that was a uh, some really cool stuff that ended up happening in this a bridge series, and it's by far probably my favorite one that I've seen. Um, of the ones I have seen, uh, I mean, see, obviously the ones I've got recorded were uh, Ultra Fast Pony, Mentally Fan Series, uh, Friendship is for Adults, which I hope that one continues at some point. Uh, at this point, I feel like it's not going to. Um, I can't think of any others off the top of my head that I know I've seen, but I think that might have been it. But out of all those, yeah, this has definitely been my favorite one. And sad to see it go, but at least it was a good, strong ending. Uh, and it's what's really even cooler to me um, is the whole bit with Chrysalis. So obviously we saw, uh, we it just immediately starts off with us being introduced to, uh, uh, oh, was that Sunshine like Shimmer? Uh, Starlight Glimmer. Which was obviously just out of nowhere. There's no uh, reference to this in any other episode. It just immediately starts out with them being at that uh, in uh, our town, which I loved. But the only ones the their choice their the just the whole way she talked was brilliant. But also finding out that it was Chrysalis the whole time, and finding out that Chrysalis was actually kind of like the big mastermind behind this whole war was really cool to me also chrysalis voice was just wonderful like 100 percent perfect <laughs> uh, as soon as she started talking i was like just what but uh yeah because uh, i know she mentioned she had pushed sombra into attacking celestia and kind of like drawing her forces away a little bit explaining up the forces uh even working with Sunset Shimmer so that she could take Sunset's power and in order to beat Celestia in that duel. Really the only thing that she didn't have a hand in was Discord and which is kind of surprising because you know Discord started becoming a bigger becoming more relevant toward the later episodes so you start thinking that like oh you know he's gonna be the big uh, and villain for the series and he ends up going away in the movie and then you find out that like oh it's actually chrysalis who's the big in-game uh villain i mean i guess in a sense they both were it's just it was more of discord was more of a pinky's in-game villain as opposed to chrysalis was the overall story uh equestria's villain i guess but it's still it was still a really well thought out um story going on there it re it really makes me think of the um remembrance story actually that ashley does with the uh well I'm, i won't say because i don't want to spoil too much about it but yeah there the feelings that she made in that one were i really loved how she did the villains in that and this the way chrysalis was here kind of reminds me of how they operated in that um they've she's been kind of like setting it up for pretty much pretty much the whole time she was setting up everything and you kind of think that it's like oh she's doing her own thing and summer's doing his own thing but it was really she kind of pushed him to uh start doing attacking them as well it's really cool i loved it um but yeah, a lot of funny moments uh, and pretty cool scene. Even though Celestia was kind of trolling uh, Luna real hard there at the uh, at the end, um, it was pretty cool seeing that you know she she did kind of care for Luna. She she was trying to make help her become you know a good leader in her own way. And it's funny knowing that like even Celestia knew that like 
she was a bad leader, so she had to make a spell that would just magically fix everything that she does because she knows she's just going to fuck it all up anyway. It's great. It, it was wonderful. And I'm trying to remember. Also, the bit was <laughs> that bit at the end where um, everyone, like you see the main six in the library, they're all talking about how like they're all going to go their own separate ways and do their own thing. And then Fluttershy is saying how like she wants to go to see the sea ponies and starts calling Rainbow Dash a chicken. He was, it starts <laughs> doing the whole clucking thing. Like just hearing her do it as well as the animation for that, that that went with it was so beautiful. Like I was dying. Like I don't I I haven't rewatched my um, actual reaction while um, that I recorded at BronyCon, but when I rewatched it again so I could talk about it here, I, I died during that. It was so funny. Like I don't know I don't know why, I just think everything about that just worked so well together it just it killed me when I watched it the second time possibly the first time as well I don't know it was it was so great um what was that everything um Starlight Glimmer uh Chrysalis I mean and I guess I mean I guess finding out Aberforth was uh Changeling the whole time. I guess that's kind of surprising, but at the same time, like he wasn't an, an interesting side character. But I don't know if I was ever like really big on his character to where I was like so surprised that he ended up being a changeling, or even being all that disappointed. Like I don't know. That's like he had some interesting and cool moments uh honestly the biggest one i remember was when uh celestia and luna were having that uh argument about who um <clears throat> which youtube creator makes the worst uh <laughs> uh a bridge series and then ever before mentions with carb and everyone's like who the hell's with carb <laughs> like that, that's the one that stands out the most to me uh, other than that i can't really think of any other great moments ever fourth had in the series he's always just been like on the side had like only a few seconds screen time so it wasn't really that big of a shock to me in that way that he ended up being changing i was like oh okay he's a changeling all right <laughs> but that that was about it oh uh, yeah speaking of that it's interesting that um it's really cool how rarity rarity's character developed like they all kind of developed in their own way, in a certain way. Um, I guess aside from the bird, the bird just never, <laughs> the bird's just always going to be the bird. There's there's never going to be a character development for her because she just stays that way. <laughs> so, um, you know, obviously you had a, like a little bit of a character development with Applejack where you kind of, it, it's kind of revealed why she has to believe that the apples were oranges or uh was it oranges or mangoes i can't remember why they're not apples but uh it wasn't really until i think the end of that episode where she reveals that why she believes that and then it ends with her going to talk to rarity that's probably the biggest one we get there and it really showed where um Rarely saying she's gonna leave a spike to go back to her homeland to just see how how much things have changed, and Applejack just says that you know Rarity doesn't look any different to her. She looks exactly the same to her, and like that was, that's really cool. Especially since that episode where you first find out Rarity's a changeling, Applejack just goes nuts and loses it, and so mad about it. It's really great just seeing those two finally becoming friends again. Uh, that was such a great, it was such kind of a sweet moment. And uh, really, uh, Fluttershy too obviously had some pretty big uh, character development there with her wanting to 
I guess, getting over her fear of everything, and now she was wanting to go out and, ex you know, go out on an adventure and explore everything. Like, even Pinkie Pie, I mean, she didn't have too much character development, really, other than, you know, learning that she really can't be using Breaking the Fourth Wall all that much because it'll run the risk of um, saying Discord free. But her and Trixie going out to, uh, it's kind of like, it, it, it's kind of like a reverse, uh, reverse of the show where uh, Trixie and Starlight become friends. Now it's like Pinky and Trixie become friends, which is kind of an odd couple, but, you know, if they could both break the four, fourth wall, then why not? I gotta remember, who was Trixie's voice actor? It was one of the other, uh, abridged people, wasn't it? It was either, uh, it was either Ricarb or, uh, the Millie Vance guy. I can't remember which one. But I know one of them was Voice Trixie and this. Ah, I can't remember. That's killing me that I can't remember that. But, yeah, aside from that, uh, I mean, I guess it's, it's hard for me to think about it with Twilight. If she, how much if she's had any development throughout this whole thing I'm trying to think but like I have to actually go back and rewatch the whole series I I feel like she didn't really have anything noticeable like she, it seems like she just kind of stayed the same the entire time so yeah other than that um yeah I think that might have been everything that can major that happened like when you think about it it's like there were <laughs> It's weird, it, it, like, when I try to think of all, like, the major points, it actually feels like it, there wasn't a whole lot in it, but, like, there was. <laughs> it was just, like, it all just, I don't know, it kind of all flowed together so well that the episode seemed pretty short when it, it was, it actually wasn't. I mean, it, it was, like, 25 minutes, I think, but still, it felt a lot shorter than that. Like, it, it all just went by so quick. But... Yeah, so that was um, that, that was definitely an enjoyable Scoo Tricks episode. Uh, definitely a good uh, send off for the series. Again, I'm sad to see it go, but I know they're all Jack and the whole team is ready to go on and do their own, st own stuff. I know a lot of them were mentioning plans that they had that they were wanting to go do afterward uh, when I was at the convention, so. Good luck to all of them. And thank you guys so much for making this series. It was very enjoyable. I, I definitely enjoyed the ride. I'm sure as as I'm sure a lot of other people did. Uh I'm gonna miss it, but look forward to see what you all do in the future with whatever other side projects or anything original you guys are thinking of doing now. Um and sorry for taking so long with bringing this out. Like I said, I was waiting to see if there was gonna be a live reaction to this or not but I figure at this point uh with it being almost three months later <laughs> uh figure it's about time for me to get this out so uh appreciate the wait and I hope you guys enjoy the video take it easy Subscribe!